So in this video, I'm going to talk about some of the modify tools um, you can use in the 3D environment. So once I've created a, a shape, I can use um, a range of modify tools to modify this three-dimensional thing. So main one of the main ones you use is fillet, and that allows us to create sort of a more organic sort of shapes. We can curve the corners and edges on things. Where I find this works best is if you choose all the edges around one profile first and apply your filler and then apply your second filler to the now ring which runs around the bottom. So you can apply fillets to all the edges you need all at once or you can do it in multiple sort of features or operations. So fillet is one which we use quite regularly, creates really nice looking shapes. And again, you can choose the size you want that fillet to be. One we use every now and then is called shell. Now we'll hollow out an object. So I'm gonna hit shell and I click on the top surface. What it will do is it will remove this top surface and it will hollow out this shape to a certain thickness. So let's say I wanted the wall thickness of this to be two millimeters. It's going to hollow out my box so that it's two mil. It's got a two mil thick wall. If we go back on that one, you can also hollow out shapes. You can use the shell tool to hollow out shapes like the whole body without removing a surface. So two millimeters. Obviously it's not going to look any different, but I can see down here that there's a shell and this part is actually hollow, but it still looks the same from the outside. I'm just going to right click and delete that. Okay, there's a bunch of other modify tools where you can use to combine. So if you've created things as multiple bodies, you can combine them together or split bodies into two. Now this is where I want to talk about the order in which you do things, and how important that it is. And you can see down the bottom, you can scroll back in time to see what you did and how you did it. So you can even play through, created a sketch, extruded it, and created these two fillets to make this shape. So I'm going to delete my fillets down now. So say I wanted to create a box, which is hollow, which has filleted edges on it. So if I create my extrusion, and add my shell, two millimeters, and then go and apply my my um, fillets. Just do it to the bottom ones at this point. So quite often when you're doing this, you have to turn your view cube around. And I apply that fillet. Because the box has already been shelled and it's already hollow, when I apply this fillet, it cuts a hole right through the through the side of the or that bottom corner of the box. So the order in which you do things is, is important. And you can actually drag these features around as you need. So if I had done this shell after I did this filler, everything would be fine. So I can drag it to an extent so it runs. So it happened after the, yeah, the filler. And I can also go back in time and I can apply my other fillets. And when I go forwards in time, it should update. So the order in which you make things is important, but you can also go back and change some of the things you've done in the past and change the order in which they happen as well. 
So, for example, if I get down to a, a later stage in my design process and I think oh, I actually need this box to be a little bit bigger, I can go back and I can change my original sketch. So, I'll double click on my original sketch and I can say, I want this to be 200 instead. And when I finish my sketch, it will automatically update all the other features after that. So, I can edit this original sketch or I can edit the, the uh, extrusion as well, change the size of the object. And I can go back and I can double click on the filler and change the size of the filler. So nothing you've created is set in stone. You can always go back in time and change it. You will hit issues when you've got a lot of features, you've got lots and lots of parts in your model and you go back and change something right at the very start. It's, it's likely you're going to run into issues and there's going to be errors with your model. Um, sometimes you're lucky, uh, other times, yeah, you, you'll run into some problems, but um, you do have that option to go back and change things, but you may have to fix up some of the errors that it creates later on down the, down, down the path.